Okay, so I've heard about a new blackberry. It's out of the University of Arkansas. It's supposed to be their sweetest, their less tart uh, berry they've ever come up with. It's uh, a good shipper, a good keeper, and it's brand new. And I think you're gonna wanna know about it. So hop in, we're gonna go to Bob Wells Nursery, of course, and get in the new truck. There's plenty of room, let's go. No, really, somebody call shotgun and go. We ain't got time, dilly dally, get in. That's what the bear roots generally look like. Yes, they're gonna they're gonna look, like. gonna, they're gonna look similar. Let me let me pull them out. The bear roots should take off. I mean, that's, that's a that's a lot of root for a bear root. It is a lot of root. So they should do well. I just rearranged this box the other day. <laughs> <laughs> of course I want you to dig to the bottom. <laughs> okay, these are the pumpkins here. Oh, that's nice. They're not as big and long and thick here, but they've got really good roots on the really bottom. Nice. And that's that's what counts. Yeah. Top row top growth is gonna come. Yes. That's great. That's great. That really okay. How many acres do you have here? 160. <laughs> wow. Well, okay, we got them home. A couple of them have kind of rolled around a little bit, separated themselves from the crowd. And Flipped over and got a little dirt in the trunk. Lost a little dirt. But these are the Ponca blackberries. Ponca blackberries. Uh, Bob Wells has um, bare root and potted plants. I think he said these have been in the pot for um, 60 days, something like that. 60, 90 days, so they should have a good root system. Not gonna pull them out right now and show you because I'm just not ready to, to, not ready to do that, not ready to plant them yet. But uh, I've got a dozen of them, and uh, these are all one gallon pots, and I am excited about it. He picked out some for me that were already starting to, uh, to put on some growth here, some leaves, and we're excited about it. Brand new blackberry in town, and it's the Ponca. Uh, if you need some blackberries, if you want to change varieties like I'm doing, and I'm not, I'm not changing completely. I'm, I'm adding to. I'm not changing. I'm keeping my freedoms. Um, probably going to put some of the freedoms in the ground and make room in the containers for these Poncas. But I'm probably going to put some Poncas in the dirt also in my patch, my blackberry patch, and um, and compare the two, uh, apples to apples in the ground and in containers, and uh, let you see that. But there's, uh, that one right there's got a bunch of nice little shoots on it, nice little leaf buds. And uh, so these are starting to come alive, and it's time, it's time for me here in East Texas 
it's time for me to go ahead and get them in the ground or get them in the pots, whatever I'm going to do, uh, my containers. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to put them in wicking tubs. The bricks level is higher than any other uh, University of Arkansas blackberry plant. And in case you don't know, U of A, U of Arc has, uh, they're kind of the number one in the country as far as producing new blackberry uh, varieties. They, they've got a, a big breeding program. Uh, they got a big blackberry bull over here with a bunch of blackberry cows and that's not what they do, but they've got a, a good blackberry breeding program that they, uh, they're constantly in search of a better, uh, a better product, a better variety. And, uh, so they came out with the first, they were the first ones to come out with a primacane, which is a, a variety that, uh, produces on this year's cane. They, uh, came out with, uh, Prime Jan, Prime Jim. I had those at first. My blackberry patch was full of Jan and Jim. They were Prime came and had thorns on them. Didn't like that. So they came out with a Prime Arc, uh, the Prime Arc 45. Still had thorns on it, if I remember right, and I didn't get any of those. Then they came out with the Prime Arc uh, Traveler, Prime Arc, Arc stands for Arkansas, obviously, Prime Arc Traveler, Prime Arc Freedom. Uh, didn't have great success with the Traveler, but I have had su superb success with the Freedom in containers. So we're going to see how the Freedoms do out in the out in the Blackberry Patch because I am going to transplant some of the containers, uh, some of the ones that are in containers now that are huge, and I am going to have to dig a massive hole to get those container blackberries in a hole in the ground. But uh, so these will replace about nine of them. I got eighteen containers. I'm going to do nine leave nine with the freedoms in them from last year put nine of these in it and probably put three i may give a couple of them away i don't know but put three uh, three of these in the ground and just do a comparison i want to do a comparison for you as to how they do in my soil of course they might, they're going to be do different in your soil but how they do in containers compared to my particular soil situation so excited about the pancas um call uh, bob wells or visit them online uh uh, Ed Donnelly is the uh, new owner, been uh, owner for a couple of years now. They've moved. They're about 10, 10 15 miles north of where they were before. They're close. To, uh, they're just uh, outside of uh, Mineola, Texas, instead of Lindale, Texas, where they were. So call Ed or one of his team. They will fix you up with some of these ponca berries. I think he said he had 200 of them. So now he's got 188 because I got a dozen. And uh, he's got bare root, he's got pots, and uh, the pots look really good. I tell you what, the bare roots look good too. So uh, I was impressed with the roots on the bare roots, and that's what went in these pots. So these should be even better since they've been in, uh, in the pots for, I don't know, 60 days or so. They should have, the, the roots should have developed even more uh, on these. So um, get you some, uh, the TP2, the code. 10% discount code TP2 is still active, uh, Ed said. And somebody told me they had a little trouble. They didn't, it wasn't active anymore. And Ed told me it was. So it could be that if, if, if the code is not working for you, then call them and, uh, and get that 10% discount, especially if you're buying a bunch of stuff. If you're buying one Blackberry plant, don't worry about it. But if you're buying a bunch of stuff, uh, it, would, uh, it would behoove you to uh, use the, the TP2 code. I got that for you. And... Uh, for you to use and hope you will. I'll let you know how these pancas go. In fact, I'll show you when I put them in the uh, in the pots and when I put them in the ground. We'll we'll do a video on that for sure. But just want to show you going to get them, and I'm excited about it. And hopefully you are too. And we'll jump on some panca blackberries. There's not very many of them around. Uh, in fact, you're probably not going to find too many potted potted up like this because um, there's it's it's that new. Uh, most everybody is probably going to have bare root. So if you want some pots, you might ought to call uh, Ed Donnelly at Bob Wells Nursery. They're a sponsor of my channel, and uh, we appreciate them, all they've done for us. And I want to uh, pass that on because they are good folks. So, Ponca Blackberries. If you're looking for a good blackberry variety, this one just might be it. Thornless, of course. I ain't going back to thorns. So, and I would suggest you don't ever go to, to, toward the thorns either. Hey, that's it. I'm glad you got to come along. And uh, I'll bring you along when you start putting them in the ground and in the pots.
All right. We're going.